Time for one more call. Yeah, we do. Uh, we have time for one more call, but we don't have a ton of time. It's Mark. Mark, thanks a lot for your call. Your uh, thoughts on uh, donations around the Christmas time of year before we go. Yeah, um, I'd like to say that um, this sounds like an advertisement for the Salvation Army. And it's I've just one on, of the charities that we've we've mentioned here. We've also talked about the yeah, food well, bank. Yeah, well, I've about, been on the receiving end of uh, the Salvation Army, and I don't think they're a very good charitable organization. Well, and um, they um, have control of government money that they shouldn't have um, as far as startup programs for the poor, and they dole it out to whoever they want to. Um, you get treated like cattle in there. It's well, really degrading. Mark, um, Mark, Mark. That organization has more buildings and more cars and more things than that. They, the, the money should not have to go from a middleman. Well, it here's the thing. Be- There's, Mark, I'm... I'm I'm sorry that you had a negative experience, but the idea of this organization's awful and everyone does, works there does bad things not great. Now, is there a chance that there's going to be some negativity from the Salvation Army? Absolutely. Not every organization can be perfect at all, but I don't think we need to get into that whole conversation here on the program today without the Salvation Army able to defend themselves. We will take a quick break. News coming up with Jess Brady, then more of the Craig Needle Show here on 980 CFPL.